Did you not hear me? Are you trying to kill me? Charmin was a size 2 Southern California beauty until her body began to undergo a terrifying metamorphosis. It, it's very um, humiliating to have to be in maternity clothes when you had been a size 2. When illness strikes, we look to doctors to give us answers. But what if they can't? For these unlucky patients, diagnosis is a mystery. But Sharman McGraw spent years trying to convince physicians that she was suffering from something more serious than overeating. I was just a very healthy person, so I just really enjoyed that kind of lifestyle where I, where I had fun. Sharman's a very attractive young woman, very long blonde hair, very athletic, busy all the time. But one day in 1993, the 31-year-old Southern California native notices a change in herself. Out of the blue, I realized I was putting on some weight. I had gone up about 15 pounds or so within a very short period of time, less than three weeks. And she's small in stature, so it was quite a lot of weight for her. They lived in an area that was very much into looks. Like I say, anorexia is a compliment where I live, not a, not a disease. Charmin, used to being a size 2 all her life, is worried, so she goes to see a doctor. She said, well, you're 31 now, and you probably can't stay that thin forever. The doctor recommends she keep exercising, but Charmin puts on more weight. So I went to another doctor, and by then I'm a size 6, pushing a size 8, and because I wasn't obese by any means at that size, he didn't seem that concerned to me. He said, well, you're still very thin. Again, Charmin is told that nothing is wrong with her and that she should keep exercising if she doesn't want to gain any more weight. In the meantime, her body keeps expanding. The weight gain was unusual from the aspect that it was mostly in her stomach and upper abdomen. Her arms and legs remained pretty thin. By the time Charmin returns to her doctor's office two months later, she's gained a grand total of 50 pounds and he would tell me that's not physically possible to gain that kind of fat and that I was probably retaining a lot of fluids. Determined to get back to her former self, Charmin cuts down her calories and ramps up her activity. So Charmin and I shared a trainer for a while. He had her doing everything from cardio to weights and he managed her diet. I remember making a, a diary of what I was eating and even for breakfast I was trying to eat like just a breast of chicken and broccoli. And then for lunch, I would have a salad with no dressing. And then for dinner, if I even ate dinner, I would go back to just a small piece of chicken and only broccoli with nothing on it. And I did this for two months. And I gained about nine pounds. Sharman McGraw has been a size two all of her life. But in the last two months, she's gained over 50 pounds. She is starving herself and exercising like mad, and nothing helps. One doctor even doubts that Charmin is dieting at all. I told the doctor that I was eating only broccoli and chicken, and he said, well, I bet if we locked you in a closet and only gave you water, that you would lose weight. Being with her for sometimes maybe 18 hours in one day, I I found it very hard to believe that she could be in some closet somewhere binging on something. After one year, I had gained 100 pounds and I was up to about 220 pounds. My stomach at night I would measure and it would be out as much as 54 inches. I even had a girlfriend give me um, a couple of her maternity clothes and I would remember cutting the tag out because it's very um, humiliating to have to be in maternity clothes when you had been a size 2. But wait.